Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy. I've got another Logic Pro quick tip here for you today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to manage your project assets even after you've saved your project. So this is really helpful to make sure that any outside loops or audio files or samples are incorporated into your project. So if you take your project from your computer over to someone else's computer, or maybe you email it or send it over to a collaborator, that they have all of the same audio files that you do. So what I have here is a brand new Logic project. And in this project, I have a sampler instrument here. This is actually a sample instrument that I made, so this is not one that's going to be in the Logic library, sound library that is. I've got a drum loop that I've dragged in from Splice, so that's also not going to be in the Logic sound library. And I do have one more loop here that is from Logic's loop library. Now, I have not saved this project yet, but when you save for the first time, let's say I hit Command S, what you're gonna get is the save as dialogue. That's what this really is. It says save, but it's really the save as dialogue. So let's say I wanna save this to the desktop, and I'll just call this new project. Now, typically at this point, when you save for the first time, this is where you choose to copy your files into the project. So do I want to copy the audio files, sampler data, alchemy data, ultra beat samples, things like that. You can also select whether you want a project package or a folder at this point. I'm going to select folder just for now for demonstration, but this will work for both packages and folders. So let's say I accidentally uncheck all of this stuff or I'm not sure which ones I've checked and I save my project for the first time. I start working on the project. I start dragging in loops and samples, and I, you know, I just keep hitting Command S every single time I want to save. If you go out to your project folder out here, here's my new project folder, and you open that up, you'll see that there are there is nothing in the audio files folder. It's just a Logic project um, with an empty audio files folder. So if I were to send this folder over to another collaborator they're not going to have any of this audio data on their end. Now they might be able to get the logic loop just from their library because it's a logic uh, loop library loop, but this third party loop from Splice, they're not gonna have that. And this you know, um, self-made sampler instrument, they're also not gonna have those samples. So they're gonna have trouble working with the project on their end. The problem is if I hit Command S, that dialog doesn't pop up anymore in order to save all of those assets. So fortunately enough, there's a pretty easy way to manage your assets within projects and folders. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to File, then go down to Project Settings, and at the very bottom of this list, you'll see Assets. So click on that, and in the Assets page, it'll say Project Folder or it'll say Project Package and you can choose all of those things that you want to add to your project. So I want to add audio files, I want to copy sampler audio files, and I want to copy any sort of Apple Sound Library content as well. Now what I can do is I can hit Command S to save again, and that's actually going to make a copy of all of these files in my project. So let's go back to that project folder. Here it is. If I go to my audio files folder, here are the two loops, my third party loop and my uh, sound library loop. And if I go to samples, here's that crystal choir patch with all of the samples inside. So now I can take this folder, I can compress it, uh, make a zip file out of it, and I can send this over to a collaborator. They can open it up on their end and they will have all of these audio files inside of their project. So that's how you can manage your project assets after you've already saved for the first time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.